Dragonflies can be used to spy on you. Scientists have created a technology that can turn flying insects into surveillance drones. The technology makes use of a tiny backpack equipped with solar power and navigation systems. The backpack is fitted onto a dragonfly and commands the insect with optogenetics, a biological technique that uses light to control the steering neurons inside the insect's nerve cord. Dragonflies can then be turned into tiny surveillance systems. The same setup can be applied to other insects of a similar size, such as honeybees. Other applications of this technology may include guided pollination, payload delivery, and precision medicine and diagnostics. Here are other stories about cyborg applications. Cyborg cockroaches could be used as a mapping tool. Researchers at North Carolina State University have developed a mapping system that would make use of the remarkable survival skills of cockroaches. Cockroaches are fitted with electronics, connected to their antennae and cerci. Scientists remotely steer the cockroaches by stimulating their antennae and accelerate their movements by stimulating their cerci. The cyborg cockroaches' movements are restricted by a UAV via radio signal which limits their movements to within 20 meters. The UAV signal is able to penetrate buildings. The insects would move freely within the defined area while emitting radio waves, which would translate into a map of the area. The UAV would move to unexplored areas until all sections are mapped. The cyborg cockroaches could be released into dangerous areas such as collapsed buildings to conduct mapping missions. Researchers hope the system will help experts locate survivors after a disaster and aid officials in finding a safe way to rescue victims. Robot Fellatio Cafe to open in London. London's coffee lovers will soon be able to enjoy a mechanical blowjob with their mid-morning caffeine hit thanks to visionary entrepreneur Bradley Charvet. Patrons at the Fellatio Cafe in Paddington will order their robot and coffee from an iPad the robots come in four sexy outfits. Pick a nurse, lady cop, student, or secretary. When the server delivers the coffee, the motorized sex doll will be positioned over the man's throbbing junk and get to work. Chave promises his fellatio cafe will be a great place to meet friends, enjoy an espresso while receiving oral relief from a weird latex and metal head. Not his exact words. Inspired by similar operations in Thailand, Charvet is set to launch his first coffee and fellatio shop in Switzerland before the end of this year.